For instance, take the camera direction. By conventional standards, it's utterly inept. The subject is not only frequently off center, but often cut off by the edges of the frame. But if you think about it, any idiot can keep a subject in frame. It's not hard. My dad could probably do it. Instead, it's as if the void in the center of the frame is the actual subject, and the roles we see on screen are, in a sense, auxiliaries to this void, controlled or possessed by it. This contributes to an atmosphere of derealization that is the entire intent and purpose of the film. Mm. So does the sparse, eerie synth soundtrack, which is excellent, by the way, and the off-kilter dialogue, which seems to have been Please. dropped in from another film entirely with trite <laughs> phrases and awkward pauses. The non-acting enhances rather than detracts from the fever dream performances or conventional editing on camera work is an admission... Or wait, sorry, I skipped a line. The non-acting enhances rather than detracts from the fever dream experience the jar is meant to be. The demand to demand more naturalistic performances or conventional editing and camera work is an admission of art blindness. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. And even oh, so, there are several scenes, the dinner meltdown in particular, where the intense and uncontrolled contortions of the protagonist's face are effectively disturbing. We ought to bring the same appreciation one has for other experimental directors, like Brackage, who could also be accused of not knowing how to operate a camera, to films that are more likely to be sold at garage sale than screened at a festival. Now that that had to have been the director or his mom. Yeah, it's either it's either or. They probably worked on it together. <laughs> it might have been. Or it was the, Kevin the Costner's way of telling the director that he's <laughs> a bit good Costner. size for a boy his age. <laughs> Not that bad. No, me. no. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> we left that in the past. It's going viral. <laughs> There's some things we can't walk away from. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.